In the midst of life's storms, one thing remains constant, the belief that there's a divine plan for each of us. Today we delve into this profound concept. It's a beacon of hope in the darkest times, a whisper in the wind. We'll explore God's plan, its role, and how to embrace it. Drawing wisdom from the Bible will offer insights that resonate. So take a deep breath and let us journey together into understanding God's plan. God's plan, but what does it mean? It's a phrase we often hear, but what is the essence of God's plan? Imagine, if you will, an architect. This architect with infinite wisdom and skill drafts a blueprint. Not just any blueprint, but one for the most intricate, breathtaking and complex structure. This blueprint is tailored to every minute detail, every curve, every line, every space. This is the concept of God's plan. It's a divine blueprint for our lives, crafted by the greatest architect of all, God. Consider the words from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This verse beautifully illustrates that God's plan is not arbitrary. It's not a roll of the dice or a spin of a wheel. It is a purposeful design intended for our prosperity, our hope, our future. Then let's turn to Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Here we find an astounding truth. Yes, we have our plans, our dreams, our ambitions, but it is God who guides our steps, who directs our paths according to his divine blueprint. So what is God's plan? It is a grand design, a divine blueprint of our lives, meticulously crafted with purpose and intention. It's a path that leads us towards prosperity, hope, and a future. It's a journey where our steps, even when they seem to falter, are guided and established by God. This concept may seem overwhelming, even incomprehensible at times, but remember the blueprint of a grand structure may appear complex and confusing to those unversed in architecture. Yet to the architect, every line, every curve, every space has a purpose. Whether we understand it or not, there is a grand design for each of us, a path that leads us to our highest good. At times, life can feel like a puzzle with missing pieces, can't it? We're all familiar with that sensation of uncertainty, that gnawing feeling in our core when the path ahead seems shrouded in fog. It's in these moments when our lives feel like abstract puzzles that we question the grand design of it all. However, it's important to remember that these feelings of confusion and uncertainty are a natural part of our human experience. They remind us that we're not omniscient, we can't see everything, and that's okay. It's okay to not have all the answers. You see, faith is not about knowing every detail of what's to come. It's about trust, trusting in something greater than ourselves, something that holds the universe together. This trust is beautifully encapsulated in the Bible, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 8 and 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. What a powerful reminder, isn't it? That our limited human perspective is not the be-all and end-all. There's a grander plan, a bigger picture that we're a part of. And though we may not see it now, it doesn't mean it's not there. Like a jigsaw puzzle, each piece, no matter how small, has a place. It has a purpose. And so do we. So... When you're feeling lost, when the pieces aren't falling into place as you'd like, remember to take a step back. Breathe, be still. The puzzle of life may not always make sense from our limited view, but from a higher perspective, every piece fits perfectly. In times of uncertainty, remember that the creator of the universe is guiding your path. So how do we embrace this divine plan, especially when life's storms are raging? That's a question many of us grapple with. Embracing God's plan isn't about having a road map with all the turns clearly marked, but rather it's about holding a compass that always points to Him. The first practical way we can embrace God's plan is through prayer. Prayer is our direct line of communication with our Heavenly Father. It's our chance to express our fears, our hopes, our desires, and it's an opportunity to listen for God's voice. The Bible tells us in Philippians 4 verse 6, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Secondly, we can embrace God's plan through meditation. Meditating on God's word allows us to soak in his promises and his truths. It's like sitting under a waterfall of divine wisdom, letting it wash over us and cleanse our minds of doubts and fears. Psalm 1 verse 2 encourages us to delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. 
Lastly, we embrace God's plan by surrendering our own. This is no easy task as it involves relinquishing our grip on the steering wheel of our lives and trusting God to navigate. But surrender isn't a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength. It's recognizing that we don't have all the answers, but we know the one who does. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 tells us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Embracing God's plan isn't about having all the answers. It's about trusting that the one who holds the universe holds you too. It's about believing that even when we don't see the full picture, God is painting a masterpiece with our lives. So let's hold our compass high, let's surrender our plans, and let's trust in the divine artist. After all, his plans are always better than ours. As we conclude our journey today, remember this one thing. The greatest adventure of life is discovering God's plan for us. It's a tale of faith, hope, and relentless determination. We've journeyed through the concept of this divine blueprint, the uncertainty that often accompanies it, and the profound peace that comes with embracing it. In the whirlwind of life's chaos, it's easy to feel adrift, lost amidst the storm. But remember, even in the heart of turmoil, a divine plan is quietly unfolding. You are not alone. You're part of a grand design, woven by the hands of the divine. The journey may be fraught with challenges, but each step, each stumble, is part of the journey, a piece of the grand tapestry of your life. And as you navigate these trials, remember to pause, to breathe, to be still, take heart, be still. For there is a divine plan for your life, and it's more magnificent than you could ever imagine.